Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and look what we have here. It is a Venus flytrap. So I've been thinking about getting one of these for a really long time, but I never fancied ordering one online just thinking, you know, shipping and packing and everything like that. So they actually happen to be in the local garden center, local flower shop. And we got this little guy a few days ago. I'm going to try and feed it now. Um, <laughs> and this will probably be the only time I feed it because this plant will be going outside and will be catching its own food. But I just wanted to capture it. See, will it feed? So hold on, let us get some I'm thinking, I hope I can find a really small cricket. So I'm hoping this guy won't be too big. Oh, 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 it's closing. Oh my God, look at that. Wow. <laughs> That's the price. So apparently what should happen now is it should close properly in a few minutes and actually start to digest. That is so weird, having a carnivorous plant. So I think the more the insect moves around, the more the plant will close because right now it might think that it hasn't actually got itself an insect. Because it takes a lot of energy, I think, to um, to close and actually to to digest. So you don't want to be triggering these guys all the time. But that's a pretty substantial... Ooh, it's moving, it's moving, it's moving. It's trying to get out. So right now the cricket is triggering all the little tiny hairs in there. And you can see that it's actually closed a little bit more and it should close fully in a few minutes. Look at that. Yeah, it's really closing now. So these guys are mostly, um, I think people try to keep them as house plants. Now at the moment it is in my house on the windowsill. Um, but that's just because we just got it in and the garden centre was actually keeping it in a greenhouse. So as you can see it's getting loads of light at the moment. But here in Ireland our summers don't really get that hot until maybe May or June. So next month. I'm thinking in May, I will let this guy out in the garden and hopefully it will catch its own food. And they do have a dormant stage as well, so in the winter. Um, now, they don't mind it getting a bit frosty, but I think just to be safe, I'm going to bring it in, but keep it in a cooler part of the house, in a darker part of the house. Um, yeah, look, it's really closing now. I'm going to repot it as well. I, I don't know if this pot is actually, I think it's too small because they're actually coming out over it. But I'm going to let it settle in this environment for maybe a week before I replant it. And it's sitting in water. Now I've heard mixed, um, mixed reviews about whether it should sit in water or not. But hey, you live and learn, hey? So I have it sitting in water at the moment and it's uh, rain water. So these guys get all their nutrients from the actual bugs that they eat. So the soil should be nutrient free and the water should be nutrient free. So a distilled water or a tap or not, not tap water. Don't give it tap water. So distilled water or rain water. So this is actually rain water from 
our barrel outside here in Ireland it rains quite a bit so um, we have plenty of rain water here I really hope it does oh look at this little baby one look at how small that one is it's tiny so that was the biggest um, I don't know what you call them mouth <laughs> that's why I fed that one because that cricket fitted there perfectly so I think it's gonna I don't know how long maybe it'll take a week before that one reopens so the the soil that you need to put it in as well needs to be nutrient free like I said so I've heard different um, people use different substrates so I'm hopefully going to use maybe a sphagnum moss and a sand nutrient free sand so not repti sand or anything like that and a bit bigger pot wider anyway and then we're going to put it outside in the summer months and let it eat its own food and just keep an eye on its water levels and hopefully hopefully this little thing will last I will write up the scientific name I honestly don't know what the scientific name of it is um, oops but it is in the thing and look how much it's closed up already see that's insane you can't even really see the cricket anymore so that meal should do it quite a while I'm thinking so yeah I think it knows its food anyway and now it's going to digest anyway I thought I would update you guys on this little new addition <laughs> something a bit different don't you think pretty cool all right I guess I'll see you guys next week. If you like this video, as always, give it a thumbs up, comment something, subscribe, and I shall see you next week.